actress and comedian Shanti Waynes. Shanti is a proud member of the legendary Waynes family and is a multi-hyphenate actress, comedian, writer, producer, and advocate for LGBTQ rights, mental health, and addiction. She does it all. And she is currently on her new World Disorder comedy tour, which is coming right here to Boise, October 20th. We are honored, and it is such a pleasure right now to be joined by Shanti. So good to see you. Hey, Melissa. Hey. You like a... You might be Jamaican over there. You you got 20 jobs. <laughs> yeah. And you're so calm with it. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. But you yourself, though, are incredibly multifaceted. You do a yes. lot. And we are so super excited to have you come here to the Treasure Valley. So tell us a bit about your New World Disorder tour. So New World Disorder, it's, it's basically like we're living in different times, um, you know, from just being an 80s baby and how so much has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, but going through the journey of like me not wanting to be married and then coming to and getting married, but through living in this new world that we're living in. So it's a it's a really fun show, great vibes, uh, lots of laughter, and you get some storytelling that's just meaningful, you know, and relatable. And, and is your role as a comedian and actress, um, what role did growing up in the Waynes family play in that aspect? Did, did, were, were you inspired by your uncles? Was it just kind of like, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree type situation? No, you know what's hilarious? I hated everything about their fame in the <laughs> beginning. Not, I, I can't say everything because there was some <laughs> great stuff I got, right? Yeah. But what I didn't understand was how fame you couldn't go out in public. Yeah. So we would be eating and you know, like you have, everybody goes through their own stuff privately, but fans don't care. And these are like new, you know, this is in living color days. So yeah. we're out eating and you know, halfway got the food in our mouth. And then you go, you know, can I get a picture with, uh, and these are the Polaroids. So you can't even <laughs> like, it's not a quick snap. You go, okay, move on. You gotta go. Tsh and yep. then wait for it to come out and develop to see if they <laughs> like it. Uh -huh. It's just, um, but I, I, when I moved to uh, LA and I got into the scene and I started, you know, seeing stand up, stand up became like that voice that the getting on stage and being able to express myself in a manner that I've never been able to. That's beautiful. So it became that outlet for you, right? Like you Absolutely. said, that voice. And and you have a voice for many different important causes. Uh, tell yeah. us about that. Why did you decide to get behind the LGBTQ and and behind mental health and behind addiction? What was your what was your catalyst for that? Well, you know, LGBT, um, we winning right now. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? So yes. definitely got to jump on the back of that bandwagon. But when it comes to, you know, mental health and addiction, uh, my journey in life has been so much of wanting to give up and um, not knowing that feeling, being sensitive, you know, wanting to love and, and all these things, but feeling just out of place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, through constant healing and really not giving on myself, constantly trying and, and having the universe, you know, honestly, not let me give up on myself. Yeah. Um, I know there's ways to come out of it. It's just, it just takes a little bit of time. So, you know, through stand up and through uh, just being able to talk to the people who support me and, and people who reach out knowing some of my background, I if I can help one person mm. throughout my entire show, that's everything to me. Absolutely. I think it's so beautiful. And I'm so grateful you did not give up because yeah, we need voices you. like that. We need those role models and that connection to know we're not alone because the truth is you're not the only one on that journey, right? We're all Excellent. connected in some way. And so it's amazing that you are using comedy as well to have that voice, allow that connection and create that safe space, if you will, yes. right? for yes. everyone. I love it. Thank you so thank much. You. And thank you thank for coming here to Boise because Absolutely. we need it. Hey, look, I can't, listen, let me tell you, I saw that you guys are having an eclipse. Yes. I'm gonna need y'all to get rid of some of them clouds before y'all try to show an eclipse in Idaho, okay? That, it's it's true. <laughs> it's been a little rainy lately, but when you come to Idaho, what you're gonna realize is the weather changes like that typically. Okay. So, so those clouds hopefully will move and we'll all get a good view. Hey, how do we go see you though when you're in town? Uh, so October 20th, I got one night. I'll be at the lounge at the end of the universe and you could check that out on my website, uh, linktree backslash C Wayans actually.
Wonderful. Thank you so much. Really appreciate thank you me. taking the time to talk with us. And I hope you enjoy your time here in Boise. Uh, thank you for having me, Melissa. All right.